My PC is much louder than it should be, so let's try and fix that. So my PC's power supply, which is a Corsair TX750W, from the mid to late 2000s, was one of the best deals out of my entire build, but unfortunately, it cost more than I originally anticipated. It powers my system just fine with plenty of breathing room, but I always noticed that my PC was obnoxiously loud. After doing some very scientific experiments by poking a foreign object into the bottom of the unit to stop the fan from spinning, and while the rest of my system wasn't whisper quiet, it was clear the fan was going bad. So I did some research and found out that the built-in fan was a standard 140mm size. Initially when looking for a replacement, I tried matching the original fan specs, but after seeing other replacement attempts with much lower airflow and RPM fans, I ended up getting an Arctic F14 for less than 10 bucks off of eBay. I unplugged and discharged my power supply a while before the fan got delivered. Power supplies are something that you shouldn't really be messing with. Capacitors that are still charged can be deadly, so if you're trying this at home, make sure you understand the significance of what you're actually doing. Shortly after, the fan arrived, so it was time for surgery. The F14 isn't the best of Arctic's fans compared to the P14 for example, but this still should perform exceptionally well to keep my power supply cool. Anyway, I began by removing the power supply from my case and disconnected the 24 pin cable from the motherboard so I could rotate it. I could have removed the power supply entirely, but getting the cables through the case cut out was very difficult, but this would be fine for now. Anyways, I proceeded to getting inside the power supply by removing the four screws holding down the cover. I unscrewed the fan and grill and pried the cover off, revealing my dusty power supply. I did some research beforehand and already know that the fan wasn't soldered directly, so I carefully removed the fan to make way for the new one. Speaking of, I tested the F14 in another PC and it didn't work, but I thought that since the wires seemed loose, it would be fine when soldered. Anyways, I continued on with splicing the PWM wire and salvaging the original fan connector. I used my very crude soldering iron to join the wires together and I could finally test out my new fan. And it doesn't work. Not because of the power supply, no, the fan was defective altogether. After expressing my grief to the seller, he was cool and went ahead and refunded me so I could then buy another F14, but this one was slightly different. Since the fan wouldn't come in for a few days, I had to use my PC, so I re-soldered the original connector back to the original fan. I even tried putting some lubricant on the bearings, which had probably gone bad at this point, and the noise had gotten even worse. So hopefully this fan would work the next time I got it. Soon, the fan arrived, and this was the PWM PSTCO edition, which is essentially the same fan, but it has PWM, and its signal can be daisy-chained with other fans. I salvaged the connector once more as I could put it to good use, spliced the wires, and soldered them together. This time I forgot to place the little tube over the wires, but I didn't feel like messing with it anymore as the cable had become much shorter, and I just didn't care enough to do so. Now to see if this mod works. I secured the fan with the grill, plugged in the fan, and just like magic, the fan spins fine. I reassembled my power supply after I knew it worked fine, and proceeded to screwing it back into my case and sealing up my PC, which if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed as I plan on sharing and going in depth with all the deals I got. Anyways, I stressed my entire system to see how the power supply would do, and it's safe to say that it was very successful. My PC is much quieter now and is nearly complete. Now it's not as powerful as the original fan, and I've seen a lot of people just plug the fan into a PWM header, and honestly, I'm not feeling a lot of air coming out of the unit, so I might come back and modify it again, but for now, I'm serious guys, this made a world of a difference with my computer's acoustics. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, suggestions, or any other comments, let me know in the comment section, I'll do my best to get back to you. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button, but if not, you know where to go. While you're there, consider subscribing to the channel and enable notifications for more quality tech videos. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.